eight before him have ever won four. Oh, he's got a flat tire. The left front tire's flat. It's down. He's going to go into the wall. Kyle We're Larson in the, the wall. The 48 of Bowman's going to get by him. A flat tire for Kyle Larson. And now Alex Bowman is going to win at Pocono. White flag is in the air. Two and a half miles to settle it. Does Dale Earnhardt pick up his third win at Pocono? Does Jeremy Mayfield have anything left for him? Not the way Earnhardt. No, and he's using a lot of racetrack there. Moving down now. Jeremy drops to the inside, trying to draft up on him as they head towards the turn. Of the turn. Dale Earnhardt won here in 1987. He won here in 1993. Oh, here comes this. Mayfield. He made a move on the outside there. Mayfield going for his second career win. He's got to He knocks him out of the way. Earnhardt goes high. Mayfield is going to win here at Pocono. Oh, my. Dale Earnhardt gets rooted out of the way. Jeremy Mayfield waves out of the window. And Mayfield at the final turn. Earnhardt aside and grabs the win in the Pocono 500. Oh, Bush did not get off that corner. And Blaney's gone. Oh, Whoa, oh, no. That was. How low can you go? Man, well, huge you. block by the 18. 18 to a big block on uh, Blaney right there. With those fresher tires, if Blaney ever gets past, oh, he's, he's got to be able to catch him. Here. He's got him. He'll get him down the back right here. He's wow. going to out-drag him. We, it, now watch watch Kurt, uh, Kevin Harvick. Oh, my gosh. He dropped me all over the apron. Took him to the infield almost. Man. Blaney has got to be saying, what do I got to do? Oh, look at that big piece of paper. Is that covering the grill on Kyle Busch's 18? But watch Kevin Harvick. He's coming into the picture. Well, these two guys running side by side. I mean, it's going to open the door for everybody. Outside. Blaney oh, loose. Oh, he's driving the heck out of that thing. He's going to clear him. Clear Got the lead. Clear. Blaney to the front. The 21 right. car to the lead. Nine to go. There you go. Nine laps to go. Cole Witt makes it to pit road. No caution. Well, look how early Kevin Harvick can get back to the throttle. Gains on to the center, but Blaney does a nice job carrying uh, that speed off the corner. White I like flag. It. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Or he let Blaney really drive into the corner. Nice job off of turn one for Ryan Blaney. Gapped him a little bit. Got to get across this tunnel. If he gets across the tunnel, he's got it made. Yep. The calm voice of spotter Josh Williams Ooh, for little Blaney. Loose, little loose. Here he comes. He's looking. He's looking. Oh, Harvick had to get out of the throttle a little bit. Almost got in the wall. 400 miles. It's going to come down to one corner. That flat turn three. And Blaney beats Harvick back to the gas. Harvick looks slow, and here they come. The winner at Pocono, Ryan Blaney for the Wood Brothers. Wow. What a race. Wow. I'm sorry you can't talk, Bob, but I'm so proud of you today. Love you. A little bit of lap traffic in front of them. You hope they will just kind of get out of the way. Ty on the bottom of the racetrack. Noah gave him every bit of opportunity to go down there. Good run right here. But that outside lane, just more momentum down the straight. Pulls away just a bit. Three car links now separate the two cars. What a great race. The two wins for Noah Gregson this year. One came at Phoenix, the other at Talladega. Mentioned Ty Gibbs and his four wins. Las Vegas, yep, Las Vegas, Atlanta. Richmond, and then most recently, Road America. Yeah, that angle, Rick, almost looks like the nine is running a little higher, taking that line away. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Can he do it again? Can it be a last lap pass for Ty Gibbs? Or will Noah Gregson hold on and get his third win of 2022? Oh, big, big run. Right run. Here. Noah went to the very bottom inside, right there. Inside you and him. Did not Still work. inside you and him. Now, as they get ready to go into the tunnel turn, 
Ty Gibbs on the inside. Gregson on the outside. Who will give? Gregson on the other side gets back in front of Ty Gibbs. What a move through turn two. The final turn. Gibbs' his last chance. Gregson all the way down to the bottom of the turn. And he has four car links over Ty Gibbs. It's Noah Gregson winning at Pocono. <laughs> Way to go, Noah. So proud. Left, left to try and secure the victory. Here comes Jeremy Mayfield. White flag is up. Final lap of the Pennsylvania 500. Mayfield tried to complete the Pocono sweep for 2,000. Two and a half miles to go. Burton on the outside. He's not giving that long line up. He'll get a great run down through there. The race is for second right now. Rusty to block. Burton to push. And they both closed on Mayfield. Look at this. They ate up Mayfield all over the back of him into the second corner. Here comes Mayfield's got a problem. Mayfield's got a flat tire. Here goes Wallace by. Now the race for the win between Wallace and Burton. Mayfield slows on the final lap. Rusty Wallace gets a good clean entry in the turn three. Rusty Wallace needing to get off the corner and beat Jeff Burton back to the finish line. Here they come, the final sprint down to the checkered flag. Burton tries to trap up inside. Wallace wins it. Rusty Wallace wins the Pennsylvania 500 when Jeremy Mayfield suffers a flat tire halfway through the final lap in the lead. There's Tony Urey, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief. There aren't going to be any fingernails left as he worries about the fuel. And Bobby's got to be real careful right here because if the eight car runs out of fuel, you're all over the back of him. You may not have time to get Oh, here he goes. Junior ducks low. Labonte's got the outside lane as they head for turn three. Dale Jr. is struggling off that tunnel corner over there. He got loose that time. Bobby's got the run to the outside. They squeeze. Takes the lead. Two laps to go. Labonte tries to crowd Junior Low to turn one. Dale has the inside line. Still there. They're high. Side, outside. Oh! He squeezed up somehow in front of Bobby Labonte. Clear. Clear. Inside. Walking, inside. ducking, diving. Junior's got the outside, preferred inside outside. line to this corner. Bodies by. Wow. Incredible racing in the final laps here at Pocono. Bobby Labonte to the point, the first time he's led all day. Gordon passing Rudd. That's for 10. And championship points. White flag. Final lap for Bobby Labonte. We'll see who makes it on fuel. We'll see if anybody runs out. Two miles to go. The Joe Gibbs cars, Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, they've always gotten great fuel mileage. Dave Blaney's on pit road for fuel on the final lap. And speeding. He'll get help for 15 seconds. Second corner, half a lap to go. the defending NASCAR Winston Cup champion has not had a very good year. His best finish, one second place run in the second race of the season. He started today's race in the 11th spot. He passes Dale Earnhardt Jr. with two laps to go. And Bobby Labonte wins the Pennsylvania 500. Basically, a 175 mile an hour game of cat and mouse. So normally the race is who can go the fastest and win. This race is who can go the slowest and win. I mean, it's such a reversal. Oh, only two, only two. Might be out of fuel. Potentially out of fuel. You see him shaking as he goes down Long Pond straightaway. He's run out of fuel. What does the 18 do now? You know what he does? He goes, man, I wish I was saving gas this whole time. He still has to make two and a half more laps. They're on the same strategy. Can the 18 make it? So Joey Logano runs out of fuel, going down Long Pond straightaway. 
One lap to go. The white flag the out. Of the I think the 18, out. And he's very slow. He's trying to make it all the way around. He might be slowing way down just to let the guy behind him catch up because it's Matt Kenseth who was 16 seconds behind him. He has 15 seconds. He can push the clutch in, coast when he can. But Jeff, I don't see it accelerating off the corner. No. I think he's completely out of fuel. He's out. He's shaking it, trying to get gas. The guy behind him, Matt Kenseth, could he's steal out. it. He's out. He's out. Yeah, stay on the track. You can't use the access road. You have to stay on the racetrack. If you use the access road, you've shortcut the corner. But here comes Matt Kenseth, the yellow car coming up behind him. Matt Kenseth could steal this one away, or he's got Brad Keselowski behind him that could take it as well if Matt Kenseth can't hang on. Kenseth takes the lead away. Al Bush will not make it back to the start-finish line. He will not make it. Matt Kenseth. Has a win already this year, has won twice at Pocono. Can he add to those numbers? Will he have enough fuel? Good job, buddy. Matt yeah. Kenseth is going to win at Pocono. in the wall, Biffle in the wall, Kenseth spins into the pack. Denny Hamlin, and yes, the leader is Jeff Gordon. Well, for his fortunes turn in here. Wow, how big would that be? Race isn't over yet. Here's what happened. Heading off into turn one. Jimmy got a great restart. I thought he was going to be able to get it well out in front of Kenseth. Yeah, but Kenseth got over on his quarter pound for just a second. You see Jimmy try to get away, but Kenseth had a good restart. Jimmy just got loose before he got down in there. He was just trying to drive it off in the corner and make sure that he got ahead. He just got loose. That's so reminiscent of what we saw at Indianapolis last Sunday. Remember, off of turn two, the guy on the bottom getting loose under the guy up front, and the guy who's running behind them ducks low and takes the lead. Jeff Gordon said, thank you very much. It worked to Jimmy Johnson's benefit last Sunday at Indy to his detriment here at Pocono today.